welcome to Bike Bite. I'm Dr. L. Can't win them all, can ya? It's actually the first time I haven't been able to kickstart it since replacing the coil and cleaning the car. Thank God for that little button, even though it makes me look dorky. Alright, today we're going to talk about wisdom teeth removal and paresthesia. See you in a minute. Alright, welcome back. So before I get started, I need to tell you I have the express room consent from this individual to discuss their case. This is my brother. Just kidding, that's not him. Here's a good picture of him. Alright, so a couple of years ago, my brother called me up. I need my wisdom teeth out of him. So I said, come on in, let's take a look. We got a panoramic whole head x-ray. This is what it looked like. All right, so what's going on here? These aren't the easiest wisdom teeth to remove. He has soft impaction on the maxillary, the upper, and partial bony impaction on the bottom. So I told him the same that I tell any patient, walk him through the possible complications including paresthesia, and recommend he go see the oral surgeon. The oral surgeon is a doctor that's gone to school additional time, has specialized equipment. All day they do wisdom teeth extractions. All right, so he tells me, well, I can ask you to do it for free, and I don't have insurance. Can you at least try? Uh, so I said, okay, uh, no problem to take out those top ones. So if we run into trouble with the bottom ones, I'll send you an oral surgeon, ask him to send me the bill. So, uh, he comes in, now I'm up, everything's going smoothly, no problems. Now these bottom ones, let's take a close look at that. You see how it looks like the wisdom tooth is trying to go into the tooth next to it? That means we can't just wiggle it out. What we have to do is cut it. All right, what is paresthesia? Paresthesia is lasting numbness. Sometimes it's transient, meaning it goes away. Sometimes it's permanent. So my brother didn't call me. I called him in the evening to ask him how he was doing. And he said, well, Ian, everything uh, isn't numb anymore, but by lower left, it's still numb. So I told, you know, this late at night, I told him, let me uh, call you in the morning and see how it is. So I call him in the morning. Sure enough, he's got transient paresthesia. Now, this is important. The whole reason why I'm making this video is so that you know that if you run into this complication, it's normal not to stress out and to call your doctor. Now, the reason why it's important to call your doctor is because then we can get you on a course of steroid. So I called the local oral surgeon and said, what's the current in vogue treatment? Uh, what's the current medication you're prescribing patients, dosage, etc., etc., so that I can give my brother the best possible current they can. We get him on the steroid, and within two weeks he's better. This is one of those things that if you worry too much about it, stress can be a component. So you gotta relax. Don't think about it. Don't worry. Doctor's orders to relax. Alright, that's all I gotta say about that. Everybody have a good day. Alright, you see this sign? Old Spanish Trail. That's our exit. If you're coming from Slidell towards New Orleans, you're going to turn right. If you're coming from New Orleans, you're going to take the exit on the opposite side and turn left, going that way. Alright, here's the building. If you would like to see us in a professional manner, here you are.